Hey guys, Cosmos here from Kabam's Fortune Hall of Heroes and I'm going to be doing an explanation about gems, gem synthesis um, any tips and things I can think of to explain you about gems and as well when you should be using them uh, or synthesizing them, what's a good time for that so uh, let's jump into the when first and that you can find out in hot events which is the button up here and uh, in hot events usually you have uh, a bunch of events going on um, which are timed of course and um, here is the gem synthesis event it's not on all the time you can see this one uh, you can see in the in the event time is written from it's going from the 24th until the 29th and of course after that there's not going to be an event but probably uh, there's a high chance that again at some point later on it's going to be repeated so it's a good idea to pile up your gems that you collect and synthesize them when these events come over so you can see here in this one uh, you get different rewards for synthesizing a level 4 uh, level 5 they're in a weird order but that's all right a level 4 level 5 and level 6 and a level 7 uh, gem the rewards are different always they're not uh, you know from month to month uh, or from event to event you can't expect the same things but in this particular case for level 4 gem you get uh, 15,000 gold and 2 level 1 to 3 gem packs and this goes up all the way to level 7 gem where you get 40,000 gold and a level 3 to 5 gem pack uh, and 4 of those which is very nice so anyhow that's the when you should be doing that so um, keep your eye on the hot events uh, check what's there. It's not always going to be called gem synthesis. It can be called something else Maybe there's a story behind it or whatever But um, make sure you you check and see if there's a gem synthesis event on before you do it now the synthesis it, it itself is going to be in the blacksmith So you can click on the blacksmith button at the bottom here. It's right next to inventory and in the blacksmith you go to synth synth synthesize and then gem and in there uh, you got all the different things that you can synthesize um, where you can see the green ones are the ones where I have a whole bunch of gems wh where I can synthesize and the white ones are the ones where I have uh, I have nothing so I need here for example for this level 5 HP um, I need four level fours which I don't have that's why it's a white color but you also have on the bottom right the synthesizable only tick box which is a very awesome tick box and that's gonna hide all the stuff that you can't do and only focus on the things that you can so that's a uh, it's a really good idea to switch that on and the only times I switch it off is if I wanna see if I have the transpose formula for something so for example over here um, let's imagine uh, or actually let's not imagine let's do some synthesis and I'll tell you what the transpose is um, right after doing some synthesis so in the hot events um, I haven't picked up my rewards for today so um, if I can I, um, let I'll try to build up all the way to a 7 um, which is gonna be very very difficult so probably up to a level 6 I can try to do uh, without too much struggling and um, and collect those rewards so that's the that's the objective so I'm gonna go to synthesize gem and uh, I'm gonna pick one where I have a lot of um, I generally haven't spent too much time um, synthesizing these gems because I wanted to do it on the video as well so here for example let's take our magic defense I have a heap of magic defense gems I've a hundred and thirty six uh, of, of level ones uh, actually I can barely believe that so let's just go over yeah indeed hundred and thirty seven of them right here so I have a whole bunch of gems haven't synthesized them for a while um, but that's okay I'm really busy so let's let's go in there let's pick magic defense for our experiment and I'm gonna just make them all now um, I'm gonna make them all because I don't particularly care too much uh, but if you are uh, paying attention to doing a good job um, it's, it might be even uh, more interesting not to synthesize everything because 
uh, it's all connected to the event reward so what you want to do is you want to take as many of these rewards as possible so if if you have more gems than the event is requiring it could be a good idea to save those up until the next event so um, that's what I do also on my other accounts and um, I would suggest that so for example if here it says um, it's giving a reward for uh, a level 4, level 5, level 6 and level 7 one time so you don't get it two times but you can do it once every day so if you can do two level 6's for example or two level uh, two level 4's it, it's, it makes sense to do one on day 1 and, and the second one on day 2 that way you can collect this reward two times if you synthesize everything straight away you won't be able to collect reward every single day and you should try to collect as much reward as possible of course for yourself so um, so that's that so uh, but I'm gonna do all of it just because it's fun and I have a lot of them so it's gonna also cost some gold I have 1.8 million on me I can see there on top left so um, gold shouldn't be an issue um, for gem synthesis it's not that expensive uh, converting gems is very expensive so for example if I take this level 6 charisma over here it's gonna cost 320,000 gold to convert it so converting very expensive synthesizing not expensive alright so final let's just click it happen uh, the action will bind the item continue yes confirm uh, it's not a major issue if it's bound so we're gonna go ahead so I made all the level 2 so now I have a whole bunch of them so which is 60 I have 60 of them which means I can make 15 of level 3's you always need 4 um, you can't really see it here on the screen but um, actually if I maybe go down to to 1 yeah it shows you need 4 so that's uh, not a problem you can also click here and just say um, tell a number and uh, what you can do is you can press like 999 if, if you have a lot it'll, it'll just come to the maximum so um, often uh, often I use something like 999 if, if I want to just grab the maximum but the way it's built already it's it's um, taking maximum as a default selection so that makes it easier and the only thing you have to do is click on make so again it's gonna ask for uh, binding um so let's just do that now um you see instant create got uh, opened up and here you also have a little helper window so um you can always click on those question marks um success rate for synthesis is 100 percent. it's a good point so you can never lose anything uh, also for conversion success is 100 percent. so don't worry about it um for higher levels so for transpose i'll tell you a little bit later you can buy gems you can find gems uh, that's pretty clear and all synthesized are bound so if you don't have gems and you click on instant create it's gonna um, it's gonna basically buy the gems for you um, let's just do that actually it's gonna be expensive but but let's just do it so let's check in the shop wait a second so checking the shop by the way during the gem synthesis there also see uh, gem packs on sale so if you've got balance you can buy those and um, the gems should be hiding in the gems category there are 20 balance each for level twos so I think about 80 balance should be taken out um, if I do instant create so let's check it out actually I've never pressed that button so <laughs> Uh, it's it's a good thing I can do it um, I was working on magic defense I think yeah there it is level 3 so we're going to do instant create it's going to say the action will bind the item again yes continue confirm and insufficient gems uh, purchase and synth synthesize 4 level 2 gems for 80 balance now if you see I have 2143 so 80 balance are going to uh, go out of there did I click it confirm 2073 so um, instant create will just magically create gems for you if you got lots of balance you can easily make um, higher level balance like that or you can buy the, the packs or the gems if they're on um, hot sales and use those that's also an idea 
Now, I can make 15 level 4s um, because I have 60 level 3s together with all the stuff I synthesize and the stuff I already had in my bag. So let's just go ahead and create those. Actually, I wanted magic attack. Yeah, let's do magic attack because, oh no, I'm not magic attack. Do I have physical attack? Um, because I'm an archer, you know? No, I used up all the physical attacks. Okay, let's continue with uh, with magic defense. So, I lost it. There it is. Magic defense. I have 15 of those. Um, so this time I'm going to reduce that to um, something like 12. I, I want to keep a couple. So I'm going to make 12 of these. Right. And now you see I cannot make a level 5. It's just not in the, in the, in the menu. Um, and that's because I don't know how to do it. Uh, you see here I have level 5 for magic attack and I have level 5 for physical defense but for magic defense that option is not there. The reason it's not there is because like I said my my, my character doesn't know how to do that so what, what I gotta do is I gotta go to the shop and go to items and find these are the transpose formulas so these are the knowledge on how to synthesize gems. So I'm looking for magic defense level 5, which is this one over here, uh, 15 balance, so not much at all, so I'm going to buy that. It's all the way at the back, probably, nope, so I have to find it, darn, where is it, where is it, where is it? I am blind, or it's not in my bag, I'm just going to pause and find it. Alright, here it is. Uh, it's hiding over here. It actually appeared after I clicked on sort So that's uh, probably a bug that needs to be sorted out. So um, Magic defense use it. So now you've learned that knowledge. So let's go back to blacksmith synthesis gems and I expect for that option to appear there it is level 5 magic defense and Actually, I can only make three of them and I want to make four of them um, so what am I going to do? I'm going to make three more of these level fours and I need one more level four. So I'm going to go to convert and uh, grab something I don't need like magic attack. I'm going to make that into magic defense because I want to have four, um, four, four, four to convert to make a level six jump. So there, with all those magic defense level 4s collected, which are 16 of them, I can make 4 level 5 magic defenses. So I'm going to make that. So like I said, this is not a good idea to do um, if you want to capture your um, rewards every day. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just doing all the gems. Um, so it's, um, but for you, you probably want to spread that over uh, to do one per day so that you can collect all the rewards every day. So collect it. And now again, I don't have the six. Now six transpose formula, it's more expensive. So we saw these ones were 15 balance each for level five. And it is per type of gem. Now, if you scroll a little bit more, um, you get the level 6 which are 20 right now in the shop actually not hugely more expensive so um, here is the level 6 magic defense I'm gonna buy that and I'm gonna check that indeed it's it's um, there it is there is actually in my bag so that's awesome so it it also said not learned yet when I clicked on it as you saw so we can go to synthesis and get that level 6. So all those gems uh, resulted this entire synthesis plus a conversion of one uh, of my magic attack level 4s result in a 1 level 6 magic defense gem but it's giving 220 um, magic defense so that's really good. So we're gonna take that and that's how you synthesize them. Now I'm going to go back to hot events and now the green reward up uh, opens up because I can collect the level 4, I can collect the level 5 and I can collect the level 6. So that's three rewards I can collect. So I'm going to do that. Obtain, obtain and obtain. So 
that's that's how you do it and you make sure to do it every day um, because then you get as much as you can um, let's see what else is there in synthesis now in synthesis I'm gonna click on synthesizable only uh, to explain a little bit um, I'm an archer and this uh, so archers and knights follow the same rules a little bit um, mages a little bit different so I'll, I'll um, say for all the classes so you can understand so for physical attack this is something that archers and knights really need and something that mages don't need at all so mages will be converting all the physical attack gems into something they need and the same thing applies for magic attack for knights and archers who don't need it at all so knights and archers are going to convert the magic attack gems to something they need uh, so you'll need gold for that and the mages are going to convert the physical attacks to something else physical defense everybody needs that um, even uh, even though mages and archers have lower physical defense and even though knights have high physical defense still all the classes need that so it's it's one of your base base gems then you got the crit gems now uh, for archers th this is also together with physical attack the top priority gem so um, the only other uh, um, exception uh, for for who the critical gems are needed uh, it's mages and knights who have changed over to critical build which is um, only something you should do if you know what you're doing because normally uh, for most cases knights and mages are much better off in will destroyer build so uh, for will destroyer build people uh, which will be most of knights and mages uh, they they will also need to convert the critical gems to something else now if you look at the conversion costs if I would convert four of these um, four of these level twos is gonna cost me 80,000 so that's uh, a, a lot but if I'm gonna convert one level three which is exactly the same as four level twos is gonna cost me half so this is this is teaching you that it's better to synthesize them to a higher level before you convert the lower level you convert the more gold you'll end up paying so always try to synthesize to as high as possible like you see I made here a level 6 charisma so uh, I, if I convert it so this is going to cost me 320,000 gold and although that does sound like a lot uh, if I had converted the lower uh, versions of this, so 4 level 5s or 16 level 4s, that would have cost me double, quadruple more money. So it's it's always better to get up um, as high as possible before you, you convert it to something else. So we came up to crit. Sorry, that's something else. Gems. All right. Then you got the health. Now health um, is something that that certain people like a lot of health. Um, this is also a little bit of your personal choice. In my own experience, my own advice to you is to treat that as uh, one of the last priorities. Um, attack or offense, um, I would suggest you to have as number one priority. So that's your physical attack if you're knight and archer, and magic attack if you're a mage. And then uh, critical gem if you're a crit build, so that that all covers uh, offense. And then the defense, the physical defense, and the magic defense. Those things will will make sure that you get less damage. And and only then for me comes the health. However, for knights, it it might be interesting to get these health gems because uh, knights have a natural um, bonus to their physical defense and health so the more health you pile up the more you the more of it you'll have on top charisma is something that very few people use charisma makes your troops have a lot more health so they're more difficult to kill but because there are so many more um, kind of better choices a lot of people don't use charisma and just convert it to something else and block jam this is of course number one uh, used by knights which are in will destroyer build it is practically impossible to uh, to have block 
build together with the critical build so anybody who goes to critical probably is not going to be able to use block gems just no slots for that and um, there are builds for knights and mages to use block um, less so for archers because they're in their they're pretty much forced to go critical build so if we look at um, one of my weapons for example or one of my equipment items you see here uh, for typical archer you have your physical attack you have your critical gem and the defenses now with this kind of construction and I probably have the same for the hat and, and the armor um, you see um, this results in, in a much lower health so this is perfect if I'm standing in a back row and, and dishing out a massive amount of damage um, but it's it's not really ideal if if I would be in the front row so of course knights have to try to put in uh, health somewhere in there uh, probably sacrificing a little bit of physical defense a little bit of magic defense um, but also in, uh, instead of crit of course that's why the it's a problem for knights and mages to go uh, to be crit build because uh, you can't afford to use that slot um, so that's I think about it. you have four openings for gems if you have uh, orange items um, for for um, regular purple ones you have um, do I have any in my equipment let me see no I don't the green ones of course have one usually you get something like this you have your base item with one slot open and the others you can open if you have a socketing rod so um, it's these ones socketing rods and you can buy them or you can get lucky and, and find them uh, during your play in the guild altar for example and these two you can open up and have three slots and also if you make arena sets or or PVE sets you'll have three slots um, but if you um, if you upgrade your PVE sets to orange or legendary status you, you can unlock that fourth slot and that's why you saw for for my orange items I have four slots open which allows you to put four gems so that's a little bit side road on uh, gem placement on equipment and um, that's I think pretty much all there is about gem synthesis so make sure you 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 catch those hot events because you get uh, a lot basically a lot in addition for something you you would do naturally anyways so catch them and make sure you get uh, you plan it so that you can try to take as many rewards every day uh, it's uh, it takes a little bit of planning because you have to see okay I have so many gems I can make maybe a level 4 today but tomorrow maybe a level 3 and uh, I'll try to get some more gems and make another level 4 the day after or something like that so try to plan it out so you get more rewards out of it and that's it for synthesis for the transpose formulas um, last point in, in tormented necropolis there is a chance uh, to get the uh, the transpose formulas for free I actually haven't passed I think it's as of level 10 uh, so I can't click on it uh, to show you but I think as of level 10 you start having that chance um, but it's very difficult of course you don't get to do tormented necropolis so often so and the prices are not that high actually so uh, you you can um, you can afford to to buy them. There are 15 balance, 20 balance, 25, 30. Um, so they might go up in the future or, or or something, but they are like this right now. So um, yeah, um, so that's that's all there is to it. Um, I bought I think all the level fives because that's how much I have. I bought a couple of level sixes, um, but ultimately you'll need it all um, ultimately meaning if you play a very long time um, of course making level sevens and level eights um, that takes a lot of effort a lot of effort so um, that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you lots of fun in getting that gem level up of course with the with the gem levels um, increase there is my level six that I just made 
and um, that that increases your bell rating via soul engraving so like now I have level 17 soul engraving it gives 34% to my gem uh, if, uh, to my gems uh, bonus so if I had plus 100 magic defense I'd, I'd get 134 instead of 100 because this is giving 34% extra so as you increase your soul engraving and as you increase your um, gem uh, level your bell rating will also increase so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed that uh, explanation guide tutorial whatever you want to call it please do click on like and subscribe under the video if you did and always is awesome if you guys can share it on your facebook or google plus or twitter or anything else that you're using and um, that's it you guys thanks for watching and have a very nice day